Good morning, I'm Mabel Jong and you're watching coverage of the World Healthcare Congress and we're here at day three. And we are so pleased to have Dr. Peter Goldbach here in the studio. He is Chief Medical Officer at Health Dialogue and Ready Clinic. So two different places across the country for one another. Right, so actually the, both companies are subsidiaries of Rite Aid Corporation. Okay. And um, they provide different but related services. Yeah. Okay, so Dr. Goldbach, what is the relationship between the patient and the provider now? It's a shifting situation for everyone. Are right. we seeing that taking place with the patient and all of the, all of the people he needs to see to make himself well? Right. So what I like to think is that the system is trying to evolve into a more logical system, you know, where, uh, first of all, the payment mechanism is logical in the sense that we're trying to pay for creation of value, creation of services that matter. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, patients are challenged, I'd say, because, you know, first of all, medical care is complex. Mm -hmm. And accessibility has been a problem. And coordination has been a problem. So, you know, um, I think one thing about the uh, physician-patient relationship is that there are now other stakeholders, other care providers that are helping out. So for example, if you have a chronic condition, and it's tough to live with chronic conditions, you might benefit from, from, uh, from some coaching because the coach can help explain to you uh, why you're doing things and give you strategies to get them done and explain the benefit of that in your life mm -hmm. and it empowers you because you know why and it makes you a better patient, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, pharmacists are part of your everyday experience if you have any kind of illness, and they are trusted you know, providers of care, and to a large extent I think they've been underutilized in terms of their skills and the, the trusting relationship. So you know, patients on many medications, if they better understand, uh, first of all, if they're not feeling well, they can ask, could that be a side effect of my medication? Mm -hmm. um, they might be taking medications that they're primary care provider doesn't know they're taking, but the pharmacist does because some specialist ordered that, you know, and it's, it's not in their record. Right. So uh, there's a very special role there. So I think you're seeing pharmacies now expanding their role into wellness. So you have wellness services in pharmacies. You have uh, convenient care. Ready Clinic does this at Rite Aids uh, throughout the country. So you see that uh, convenience, that retail uh, convenience. And so, um, you know, those are ways that uh, these other providers are pitching in and trying to help out with patient care. Okay, what about coordinating communication between all of these different areas? Is that getting better? Right, uh, we're trying. I, I think it would be premature to say that it's getting better, but I think what's important is that, you know, you're very aware of the problem. And, you know, I think one of the things is you want to empower the patient to make sure that their providers know the care that they're getting, the medications they're on. So uh, coaching services, uh, records. Um, you know, so for example, right now, uh, Ready Clinic is offering some chronic care coaching in uh, selected spots. And we have coaches embedded in the pharmacies. They work with the pharmacist. And they work off a care plan that the physician gives us. And mm -hmm. we report back to the physician. So we help coordinate that care. Okay. And at, at Ready Clinic, what we find is that first of all we provide people with a record that they can take so their doctor can know that they were immunized or that the child had a sports physical um, and that's important but equally important is many of the patients we see don't have primary care doctors so we can help hook them up right. and since we don't give ongoing care that's part of the role our role okay yeah now as a physician yourself mm -hmm. I mean, you've been through many different phases of, of change in the yep. sector how would you describe what we're going through now? And are you encouraged by it? I'll have to tell you, I'm, I'm an optimist, so <laughs> it helps, <laughs> Okay. I think. That's uh, good. Yeah, I honestly think that this is, we're heading in the right direction. That, first of all, um, you know, this funny phrase that I heard, that the patient will see you now, <laughs> it, it, really, it really captures something, and that is a reminder that we are there for that person, that's our sole reason for existing, and we need to be more patient-centric, right? If we're not accessible enough, people are gonna fall off the wagon, they're not gonna get the care they need, you know? So we've gotta get it together, and I think the, the payment system's coming along, the regulatory system is coming along, and it's, and it, look, I have a lot of empathy, it's painful to change, 
uh, and these are very substantial changes that are required. Mm -hmm. But you know, little by little, bit by bit, I do honestly think we're moving in the right direction. All right, Dr. Peter Goldbach, thank you so much for stopping so by. So nice to meet you, thank you. Great to meet you. And I'm Mabel Zhang, thanks for watching.